Hi guys, I want to show you how to make this necklace. Uh, this is just a tiny version of it. Uh, this fits nobody. Uh, there's about 100 beads in here, so I would say don't start it with less than 150 beads uh, of 8mm uh, bicones. The, um, I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. Um, this is going to be taken apart later because it's too small and, and I'm almost out of uh, bicone beads so I would have never had enough to make this necklace to begin with but this is just to show you how it gets done and uh, how to make this necklace uh, if you got about 150 beads it should be okay uh, it's really pretty and it doesn't flip on, on the neck like uh, the V necklace might flip on the neck so uh, people with uh, round necks that, that have like a round neck in the area that goes to the shoulder uh, will have problems with some of the necklaces uh, especially the V necklace that might flip so this will definitely not flip because um, it's uh, way too heavy to flip so um, let's get started on how to make this uh, necklace today I want to uh, do um, a tutorial that is a little bit more difficult but it's still in the beginners um, area so but I want to use four threads today and for that I'm gonna use the 0 0.25 millimeters and you need about an arm span and a half wide and you need to do that twice so we got two threads that are about an arm span and a half wide and um, you need some seed beads doesn't really matter what size you use I got Miyuki uh, size 11 here and you need 8 millimeter bicones or uh, 8 millimeter of whatever you like to use to make this work. So you got your two threads that are about an arm span and a half wide. You need to set up six seat beads on both threads and when you have done that you take the end of the threads and you are going to cross one seed bead with all your threads and then you pull everything to the middle and if one thread is a little longer than the other one then that's okay so we're going to take our threads and we uh, put the seed beads like this so two threads go up and two threads go down and we're going to start with the upper threads you're going to put a bicone on there and then we're going to take the bottom threads also put a bicone on there and a seed bead also on both threads Now we got two threads on the bottom, we need to split that. Now if you put your threads in there, if you put your threads in the bicone and the seed bead, you will see that one is automatically kind of uh, going more upwards than the other one. The other one's going straight to the bottom. So leave that thread that goes to the bottom there and just pick up the one that goes a little bit more upwards and put a bicone on there and a seed bead. And I hold that one seed bead and cross the two upper threads in that one seed bead. And just pull everything tight and turn it back the way it was. And now a quarter towards you. Okay, so you got two threads. You got uh, the two threads here, one thread here, 
and this is the bottom thread. Okay, so I'm going to refer to this as the bottom thread, and these are left and right. So, I'm going to take our right threads, and we're going to add a bicone. and a seed bead and make sure you got them on both threads there and just put that that way and I get the left thread take a bike comb a seed bead and another bike comb. Now we're going to take the bottom thread and we're going to add four seed beads to that. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to get a bike comb. And do another four. Seed beads, one, two, three, four. And this thread goes into that one seed bead that is on the two uh, threads, the right thread, right thread, th and we're going to pull it through. It's a little bit difficult when you first start with this, but it gets easier along the way. Now, as you see, you have three threads coming out of here. This thread is actually the one that we just put uh, the right thread on. So if you see th three threads here, just take the one that goes down the most and just pull that down, pull that out of the way because this is what we're going to use for this one. Uh, the, the bottom thread is going to be transferred to the bottom thread. Okay, so right now we're going to pick up the right threads, both of them. Very difficult to say. Okay, and we're going to add a bicone and a seed bead. And we're going to take our left thread and we're going to cross in that seed bead like that. Okay, so now we're going to pick up our two threads on the left side. We're going to add a bicone, a seed bead. and another bicone. I'm going to just put that out of the way. Now we're going to pick up our right thread and we're going to add a bicone and a seat bead. And I'm going to get that out of that way. Now we're going to pick up our bottom thread again. And we're going to add four seed beads. One, two, three, four. A bicone. And we're going to do another four. One, two, three, four. And put that thread in with the other seed bead right there. Now as you can see this thread is now the most down thread so we're going to take that one take it down and we're going to add on the right thread now one bicone, one seed bead and put that over our fingers and then the left threads 
go into that one seed bead. I know it can feel like you're working with spaghetti, but the result is so worth it. So, now we have two threads on the right side again. Oops. Two threads on the right side again. One that's going down and you can already see that it's giving you a natural round curve for your neck. We're going to pick up the left thread. We're going to add a bicone and a seed bead and another bicone. And then we're going to pick up the right threads, add a bicone. and a seed bead. I can just put that on the right side again. There. And we're going to pick up our bottom thread. We're going to add four seed beads. One, two, three, four. Bicone, another four, one, two, three, four, and that one is going up with that seed bead again. And you need to do it like this. You can't do the middle part first and then add the bottom part because the reason for that is because the threads that you use for the bottom parts are continuously different. So untangle the three threads you have here, see which one is the most on the right side and that will be used then for the bottom thread for the next row. So we're going to pick up the other two threads and we're going to put a bicone on there A seat bead. And then turn it over your finger and get the other thread on the left side. And cross in there. And you got to do this all really carefully. And make sure that you now and then pull each and every one of them. Two, three, four. So that you don't get gaps like this. If you do have gaps like this, try to get that out of there by pulling the thread. See which one it is. Ah, there it is. Okay, so make sure that this is all equally tight. And these are just repeat steps. You start with your left threads, or one thread, depends on how many you have on that side. And you add your bicone, your seed bead, and your bicone. You put the, just put that aside so it doesn't bother you. Then you get the next one, the right thread. And you put your bicone on there and your seed bead. And you put that out of the way too. And then your bottom thread gets one, two, three, four, bicone, 
and one, two, three, four, and goes in with this seed bead. And you check which thread is most to your right. So that's this one right now, and it goes down, becomes the bottom thread. Then you're going to continue with the thread you are actually just used to put the four seed beads in the bicone on, and you put a bicone on there, and a seed bead. And you're going to put that over your finger and pick up your left threads. And you're going to go through that seed bead. Like that. So, I think you understand it by now, but we're going to do it one more time. Okay, watch. Left thread, bicone, seed bead, bicone, put it aside. Right thread, bicone, seat beads, seat bead, and put it aside. Bottom thread. One, two, three, four, by cone. One, two, three, four, into this seat bead, pull. Check out which thread is most to the right. Take that down. Pick up the other two threads now. Bicone. Seat bead. Open the finger, left thread, and cross. So just continue this until your necklace is long enough. And don't forget, now and then, just pull your threads, all of them, one by one, to make sure everything is tight. Just continue until your necklace is long enough, and I would say pause me now and get back to me when you're at that point. Okay, if you edit your last part, you need one bead on the left thread. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. And just take the two threads now, the bottom thread and the right thread, and put a bicone on there. Put a seat bead on there and cross the other two threads in the seat bead. There. Now make absolutely sure before we're going to add the last loop that you have no more spaces like this right here in there. Just pull everything tight, pull them one by one. And now we're going to add seven seed beads. On one of the threads. And once you've done that, I'm going to take the other two threads. and go through 
those same seven seed beads. Two threads are going into this seed bead. Now the other two on the left side also go in there. And you can pull that loose if you need to, as long as you make sure before you tie your knots that everything is tied again. So I got all of them in there. I'm going to pull everything tied, thread by thread. See, I still have a little bit of space here. I want to make sure I got that too. So I just pull it really tight. There. It's all gone. Now we're going to take one thread and we're going to find places where we can tie them up. But since it's four threads, I'll just do uh, one at a time one that's on the left side and one that's on the right side. I'm going to just find that place where they can go meet up and uh, preferably a little bit down here like in these two not too close to uh, where the loop is. So we're going to note it down the bicone. cone. One seat bead and it also goes automatically here into the bicone, cone which is, makes me very happy. And then we're going to go into the seat bead in the middle. And it already goes into the bike comb, so that's that's nice. I'm gonna take the other thread. So get those threads away from the loop for now. Since these are the first threads, we need to take them down as far as possible. And I'm going to take them down. Maybe a needle would go faster. Right there. Get the other thread. Into the seat bead. 
down and into four seed beads. Four knots. One. and four and back into the bike hole get the knot out of the way first bike hole one two three pop in there and up the seat beads and the other one up the other seat beads and then we can cut those two off now, that means you also have to find a place for these last two. Might want to try one thread through here, down there, and not off in this uh, bead on the bottom. And there will be a link at it, and I just see that I did one too many here. And a way to solve that. So this is a sample of how you do it. Uh, this actually is too short. There's about a hundred beads in here already. So you would need about uh, say 150 beads, don't start it less with 150 beads uh, to make something like this.